perfect. All right. Good morning. Great to see all of you today. So, so good to be together here. I'm so happy that the Holy Spirit led all of us to worship at St. Paul this morning. We gather for worship here every week. We hear the Word of God. We read the Word of God. And we hear and read of God's love for each of us through His Son and through our Savior, Jesus. In addition to hearing and reading about the love of God, though, I pray that while we're together, you experience that same love of God. So if you are able, take a moment now, stand up, greet those around you in the love of God. This is the most important lesson to take away from today's epistle from Hebrews. No matter what bad things happen in our lives, it doesn't matter. The greater our faith in God, the better prepared we are to face those bad things. The Old Testament heroes that, that they talk about here knew that. They lived their lives in that way. They followed their God and they obeyed Him. We are called today to still do the same thing. And that's why I pray today that we would all allow the Spirit of God to guide us in our lives of faith. Where there is always a way out of every difficult situation if we place our faith and trust in Him. Our faith then should be an assurance that the same God who created each of us, including everything else in the world, will remain with us in every conflict that we might face. I pray that our, our faith would be an unshakable sense of trust keeps us hanging on to God and His Word and His will through life's dark and difficult valleys. Most of all today, I pray that though we might all believe in God, we would add to that the same faith that Abraham and the others had, a belief in the, all of God's promises and a belief that God will always be with us no matter what obstacles we might face from birth all the way to eternity. That is the faith of our ancestors. I'm asking you to live in that same faith.
Bidi, bidi, bidi. That's all, folks.